Hello guys, and welcome back to another CAFCAST! Today we are taking a look at Tokyo Treat. This is one of those fantastic, fantastic Japanese sweets and treats boxes straight from Japan as well, which is super fantastic. I always love this stuff that they have uh, going on here. And Tokyo Treat are one of those ones that are really cool. For disclosure, I don't get paid to make these videos at all, but there are links down below if you want to check it out for yourself. They're super cool, um, and they always seem to pack these things with really awesome things. So uh, very, very exciting. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and take a look inside. We've got some paperwork, uh, which is pretty important for us to go through things with you one by one. Now, most important thing, just to quickly cover for you guys, is that we're not going to be actually tasting any of these on this video that you're watching right now. If you want to watch awesome Japanese stuff coming out and being shown on camera to look at all the cool packaging and stuff, you're in the right place. But if you want to see me taste these things, you need to head over to the link in the description down below on the ASMR cast, and you can have a look at all the fantastic things that we're going to taste and try and think about how weird they taste and stuff. I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm, I'm not worried at all. <laughs> but without further ado, guys, we're going to go through all of this stuff. So please make sure that if you do enjoy this, give the video a like. Let's get started, shall we? We have, straight away, things have got weird. Uh, this apparently is peach flavoured potato crisps, potato chips, crisps, whatever you call them in the country that you're from. This unique take on a savoury potato trip and converting it into a street treat has become a recent fad in Japan as of late, apparently. Uh, be surprised by the gentle peach flavours of this potato chip that will leave you curious and satisfied, apparently. So I'm looking forward to being satisfactorily curious. No, curiously satisfied. I mean, that's probably a better way around of doing that. Um, really strange, but fine. I mean, I like strange things, so that's that's not a problem at all. I'm always more than happy to get just like loads of weird stuff from, from Japan, because that's kind of the whole point, isn't it? Uh, speaking of weird things in Japan, the next thing we have is Mr. Sushi Chef's Gummies DIY. It's a DIY kit, a very small one, um, but it's going to be just like some... It looks like it's just a couple of little bits and pieces that you, you add the the bottom bit to the top bit, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, bottom plus top equals thing. So it's not actually a DIY kit, really. So we'll, we'll be able to check that out on a regular video. Um, but the gummy DIY kit is super fun for all those who love the taste and look of sushi, but also enjoy sweet treats with flavors of plum, banana, and lemon. Take pieces of fish and rice molded gummies and place them into sushi-looking creations. Fantastic. Oh man, I don't know if I'm actually gonna save that for a, for a video, for a separate video and just have fun with it. I might do, I don't know. But, uh, but there'll be a link down below anyway, so you'll be able to find it, no problem at all. We also have, which we've had before on the CAFCAST, we've had some uh, Haichu. This is Peaches Haichu, um, which is actually supposed to be a... This is the uh, the new flavour that they've, they've recently released. Um, it's super delicious and amazing and awesome, so if you've never tried Haichu before, then uh, then do. It's always the first thing to go when I eat my, uh, my Japan crates in Tokyo Treat and all these fantastic from boxes that I get from uh, from Japan. I think this came in Japan uh, crate last time, so for it to now come in Tokyo Treat, it's fantastic because it's super delicious so that'll be really really exciting to uh, to, to get involved with because i really enjoyed it last time the next thing that we have here is a metamorphosis millet jelly okay uh this is another diy kit actually which is cool this diy kit makes a very strange yet delicious jelly snack when mixing the two liquids rapidly the colors will begin to change and then will harden into a foam watch the ch watch the change before your eyes and add a grape sauce to top it off for even more tastiness well that sounds scary as hell. So I'm not sure about that, but we have to try it, don't we? We have to try everything. So another DIY kit. Again, there'll be a link in the description for all of these, so don't worry, they'll be able to check them all out, which is fantastic, and we'll carry on going through. This is apparently Texas corn, but uh, I'm not sure exactly what. Texas corn takoyaki, uh, apparently. Much like the original Japanese street snack takoyaki, the savory snack will leave you hankering for more. From the limited edition Texas corn flavors that give the ultimate flavors of corn in each bite, you will be able to enjoy this snack as if it were the real thing, which sounds, well, it's bold claims, let's say that. So I'll definitely be interested in trying it anyway. Uh, but we'll carry on because there's like just so many things in here, just so many things, which is great. Uh, this next thing that we have here is called Heart Chipperoo's Heart Chips, uh, garlic seasoning, 
various spices and miso and salt provide a savoury and tasty snack, which is great. Um, so apparently that should be a quite a quite a tasty one. Yeah, heart chipple, it says uh, on the uh, on the packaging. Sure, okay, that's fine. Uh, oh dear, this looks weird as hell. Okay, well then. What's this? Anybody out there have any ideas? Here we go. It's apparently is the special item for this month. It's called Frozen Country Mom's White Bear. There we go. It's a popular cookie that is soft and flaky on the outside, yet moist and delicious on the inside. Recommended to be eaten frozen as it gives a whole new dimension of flavour and texture to the treat. Well... That'll be frozen, and we'll have to try that. I'm gonna to have to freeze them now, so that when I do these videos later on, we'll uh, we'll have that frozen to try for ourselves. I'll try and freeze it, and then put it back in the box once it's been frozen. That seems to be the most sensible thing to do. But anyway, we'll carry on. We've got Frog's Exciting Picture Book, which is uh, different stages of a frog's metamorphosis with various gummies, going from to the, the little spawn egg, to the tadpole, and then to the frog. Uh, and apparently, you also get some special frogs as well, like a king, king frog in there somewhere as well. A bit weird having them all in, but I guess it's fine. You know, it's, it's Japan, so, you know. Uh, from egg to tadpole to full-grown frog, these fun-shaped gummies are both unique and delicious. So you can't say much more fair than that, can you? We've also got some trotto, uh, which looks like this. Banana flavours. This tasty treat is baked chocolate that cannot be melted in your hand, but will certainly melt in your mouth. Uh, enjoy the baked, crispy, rich taste of chocolates and bananas with this dual-textured snack. Sounds actually very, very tasty. So we'll definitely be taking a look at that again down below, tasting all these fantastic things because there is a lot of stuff to taste. This is weird. What's this? Have a look here. One Piece illustration gums. From the super popular anime franchise One Piece, these gums come with the most epic poster work that the series has released. Uh, after enjoying your gum snack, open the package up to enjoy a poster of one of your favourite characters such as Zoro or Luffy, which is, uh, yeah, I mean, that's quite a cool thing to do, isn't it? So, yeah, that's really cool. And it seems like there are there's quite a selection to choose from. So we'll have to see how that looks. Uh, we've also got, well, there's still loads of stuff in here. Man, oh, man. We've got a bonus cream column, uh, or cream colon, as I like to call it. Uh, just like a little extra thing that we've got inside this month's box. And actually, it's so bonus that it's not even on the list. Uh, I've tried it before, though. It is really delicious. It's like, um, it's really hard to describe. It's like a creamy filled corn biscuit. I have no idea. It's hard. To, it's hard to explain, which is why it's called cream colon because you know that's fine. Uh, we'll go for the next thing here: the fruit-filled jelly oranges. You can see inside there that it is. They are suspended. They are suspended in the jelly. The jelliness. They're hanging out. Literally. I mean, I <laughs> don't know about this one, but we'll have to try everything because we always do. Uh, enjoy this true Japanese orange flavours that everyone loves. The jelly portion has hints of tangerine juice and syrups to give it a sweet and sour taste. It has a sweet and crunchy feel to it. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I'm sure that'll be super delicious and not a problem at all, so I'm not going to worry uh, about that. We also have a very tiny, very cute and a very quaint little uh, mochi taro called salt, apparently. It's a dagashi snack known for its simplicity and use of salt and fried crisps for your enjoyment. The nice taste and seasoning will keep you wanting more without being too complex. That's really nice, isn't it? Nice. It's good to get really simple things every now and again, uh, I think, anyway. Uh, so the next thing that we've got is... Uh, Weird again, but that's fine. Uh, this is a Disney's Pop Can drink mix. Enjoy these sensational drink flavours in the shape of a lollipop. With various adorable Disney characters like Daffy Duck and company like we've got on here. Uh, and the light, uh, this is the wrong thing I'm reading there. You can be sure to find the flavour and character you'll enjoy. So that's... I'm not quite sure about that, but again, we have to try these things. We're going to try everything like we always do, so that's fine. Uh, and we've got three more things here. The next thing that I'm going to do before we go do the last two things for you guys here is we always get, every single time that we do a uh, Tokyo Treat, we get one of these fantastic little toys, uh, which is really, really nice. They, they usually do this, um, and uh, it doesn't seem to actually give you any information on what it is. But they are they are uh, kind of like a 
quite a popular thing in Japan to get these little sort of like it's like um, coin operated uh, sort of toys that you get in uh, in supermarkets and stuff where you put your coin in, turn it, and the ball falls down from the machine. Uh, and this is <laughs> it's like a little sushi dude. Maybe it's like a rubber. It might be like a rubber. It's really cute though. Look. It's just like a sushi and rice. And this little bit sort of pops off and can go on the top. Just like that there. <laughs> and it actually has some information about it. Let's find out what it says. It's in Japanese. So I have no idea. It's probably a rubber. It's probably a rubber. I don't know for sure. But it's quite cool. And it's a really nice little, just a nice little fishy thing. Hanging out, having a good time. Relaxing on, on top of there. Great. <laughs> Oh, Tokyo Treat is so fun. I love it. Right, okay, last two things that we have then. This is called Look a la Mode, and it is enjoy the classic four flavours of banana, strawberry, almond, and caramel, surrounded by rich milk chocolate. The double-layered structure will give you a combination of both texture and flavour. Actual proper block of chocolate from Japan. That's exciting, because I have uh, not tried that yet. We've got, like, um, sort of chocolatey things, but never, like, a proper block of chocolate so that's really really awesome look forward to doing that and then finally we also have bourbon and east double east it looks like uh, frozen double cast chocolate double cast rather than east there uh, from the hit disney animated film frozen which has immense popularity in japan as much as the rest of the world comes this sweet treat enjoy a hollow biscuit uh, which is quite cool stick with stripes of vanilla and chocolate cream in the center so i'm sure if it's disney it's bound to be delicious, isn't it? Let's face it. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed today's Tokyo Treat unboxing. If you'd like to see any of these treats get tasted, make sure you head over to the ASMR cast on this video right now. They'll go up at the same time. So if you look at the link down below, um, then you can find the video in which we go through these one by one and taste them all and give you guys an idea of what they taste like, which is hopefully pretty exciting. But until then, guys, as I said before, I am Kath of the Cathcast, and I'll see you all next time. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. You've been watching the Cathcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to us if you like what you see. That way I'll know to make more and that you really like me. So, you've been watching the Kefcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos.